I'm going to use the cross product method to solve a couple of proportions that look a little bit different. So let's look at the first one. R over 5 equals 3. I'm going to rewrite that as R over 5 equals 3 over 1. And because my unknown is in the numerator, I'm just going to take this first cross product here. So I'm going to say R equals 3 times 5 over 1, and that is just 15 over 1, or 15. Let's perform a check and make sure that our result is correct. So I have 15 over 5, and the question is, does that equal 3? And I'm going to go ahead again and write 3 over 1 in this case. Let's do a double cross product here. So 15 times 1 is 15. 5 times 3 is 15. Those are the same number. Therefore, our solution checks. If I look at this second problem here, I have 1 half over 4 equals 8 over r. And I am going to perform a double cross product here. So I'm going to get 1 half times r equals 4 times 8. If I divide both sides by 1 half, do the same thing on the right hand side, then my 1 halves are removed on the left and I get 4 times 8, which is 32. And I can rewrite it like this. 32 divided by 1 half equals 32 times the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2, giving me a result of 64. So r equals 64 should be my final result. Let's do a check. Always do a check. So I have 1 half divided by 4 equals 8 over 64, and that's a question. I'm going to do a double cross product and I get 1 half times 64, and does that equal 32? Well, 1 half times 64 is the same thing as 64 over 2, and does that equal 32? 64 over 2, if I divide, I do get 32. Therefore, my solution of r equals 64 checks.